Okay, number two. The most recent virus that is making people ill is a fast multiplying one. On the first day of the illness, only two virus bugs are present. Each day after, the amount of bugs triples. So I need to write a function that models the bug's growth over time use, using x for days and y for the amount of bugs. Find the, I also need to find the amount of bugs present by the fifth day. Okay, so in order to figure out my function, because that's the first task that I have that I need to figure out, in order to figure that out, I know that I need to come up with this equation using numbers. So my initial starting point, well, this says on the very first day, I have two viruses. I'm gonna go ahead and make a table because I feel like that's gonna be easiest for me to start with. So I'm going to make a table. The top is the X and the bottom is the Y. Okay, so on the very first day, this is gonna be for days and this is for bugs. Okay, number of bugs. So on the very first day, there are two bugs. Okay, now, I know that it's going to triple every single time. So after the second day, triple means multiply by three. So if I take two and I multiply by three, I'm gonna end up with six bugs, okay? On the third day, I'm going to still have to take six. So whatever I have now, I'm gonna have to multiply by three, which gives me 18 bugs. Okay, so I've kind of got off track a little bit. I just need to figure out the function first. In order to do that, I need to know my starting point, which means x equals zero. On my table, it doesn't show that because the information told me about the very first day, but I need to know day zero. So if I have to figure out day zero, I'm gonna go ahead and just extend my table out this way a little bit. Okay, so when x is zero, I have to figure out what the y is or how many bugs I actually started with. So if I and multiplying everything times three to move to the right on the table, that means I'm gonna to have to figure out what number goes here. And if I work backwards, I know that this direction I'm multiplying by three. If I want to work backwards, I know that in order, if I start at 18, how do I get six? Well, I'm gonna to have to divide by three to get six. And then I have six, so I have to divide by three to get two. So working backwards, I'm gonna do the opposite operation which means if on day one, I have two bugs, I need to take, I need to take two and divide it by three to continue with my pattern, which is going to give me 0.67, I'm just gonna round it to the nearest um, hundredth. Okay, so that gives me 0.67. That is going to tell me my initial amount of bugs that I started with, okay? So I can go ahead and get started with the actual equation because I know that this is going to be 0.67. I then need to figure out what my factor is. Well, I'm not working with percentages this time, so I don't have to worry about the 100%. I know that it triples every time, which if you think about percentage, that's gonna be the same as 300%. So I'm multiplying it by three every single time. I know that that's my factor. I then have to the X power. Now on my table, I've already gone up to three days. I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in five because there's no reason for me to, to um, figure out what it is on four days. So that's my actual equation. I've got Y equals 0 0.67 times three to the fourth power. I'm gonna go ahead and go to my calculator now and I'm gonna take three to the fourth power which gives me 81. I then have to make sure that I don't forget my starting point, so I started at 0 0.67. So I'm multiplying that by 81. On day five, I should have 54.57 bugs in my system, and that's how many bugs I have with the virus. Okay, so I found out that my answer was 54.5 or 0.27. However, um, I just realized that I did it for the fourth day. My exponent is to the four, 
Well, my answer really should be to the fifth day. So I'm gonna go ahead, not that you have to do this, that was just totally a mess up on my own part. That is for the fourth day. So really I continued to fill out my table. So we now have to figure it out for the fifth day. I could just multiply it by three again, but I'm gonna show you this way just because I'm gonna be a big pain. So 0.67 times three to the fifth power now. So three, back to my calculator, three to the fifth power, now that I'm gonna be doing it the correct way, I get 243. I have to multiply it by the starting point, 0.67, and it doesn't matter if you take 0.67 or just 0.67, it's the same thing. You're gonna multiply it, and I end up with the answer of 162.81 bugs after five days.